What leads a man to take his own life? Is it poverty, hardship, crime, shame, rape, or even insecurity? And what effort is government making to address the issue and help those afflicted by mental health issues? Uh, finally, is killing oneself the solution to a problem, or does it only bring unanswered questions and grief to your family? That, that's, that's, the, that's the mix that we have to look, look at, because if you have issues with maybe psychological, yes, mental, right. and you have all of those and you feel uh, you're, you're going through depression and the best way is to end your life. How about those who are depending on you? I think it's a selfish act. All right. Well, we, have, we, have, <laughs> <laughs> we have a professional who will help us understand this. We have Dr. Dokun Adediji, a medical doctor as well, who to help us uh, unravel or help us explain mm. uh, these issues. Good morning, uh, morning. Dr. Dokun Adediji. Good morning. Good morning. morning. 15,000 Nigerians, mm -hmm. uh, according to WHO, mm -hmm. out of 100,000 cases, mm -hmm. uh, might have committed suicide. What really do you think is wrong? Just this week, a man jumped into the lagoon. Mm. You, you see, there, there, there's something also, if you look at the survey very well, it said illnesses, poverty, all kinds of other associated factors. But the pr primary reason that could lead that is depression. 90% of cases are due to depression. You know, people do not understand something. They think the fact that I'm talking to you, that I'm laughing, I'm means that I'm okay. Hmm. Robin Williams, hmm. the the. The, the comedian yeah. who was making everybody laugh. He, 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 he died, he committed suicide, mm. and was depression. Yeah. Look at uh, Anthony Bolan. I mean, look at the lady Katie Slade, yeah. who mm. sold, a, she had about two point something billion. Even, mm. even Michael Jackson, uh -huh. who entertains the whole world, wow. at the time said he was lonely and Absolutely. he was unhappy. Mm. You, you see, we need, one thing that this has pointed out to us, or is really pointed out to us, that we need to take serious the issue of mental health. Mm. You know, yeah, people would like to go to hospital, but it's the issue of stigmatization. That's right. And then what comes thereafter? That's right. If you go to Yaba, for instance, to see a doctor, people think you're mad. Mm, the Yaba. fact that a man goes to a psychiatric hospital <laughs> does not mean he's mad. But those are the primitive attitude we show and lack of understanding of people's peculiarities. Mm. Look, let me give you a personal experience. I had a classmate. We were very close. She was my friend. I visited with her almost all the time. She was living alone. She had a son. I didn't know she was going through depression. Mm -hmm. In fact, that I'm a doctor. Mm -hmm. And we, we talk, we chat, we laugh with my wife. Mm -hmm. Until one day, I knew she was drinking, but I thought it was social drink. I didn't know it was bad. Until one day, the doctor called me up to say, my friend is in the hospital. I lost her. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, hey, how did I miss this? Mm -hmm. If as a professional, I can miss the salient, signs of depression in spite of the smile than anyone else can and that's what i think the society should wake up to there are too many people going through so much hmm. that we don't understand we attribute to poverty the fact that a man is poor not only is depressed mm -hmm. i mean a, a rich man can be depressed as the examples we've given course, that's right so the important thing i think which is not what we're doing enough the issue of mental health our laws of mental health baby brought this to 1959 or thereabout. It has not been reviewed. How many psychiatrists are in Nigeria? How many clinical psychologists are in Nigeria? How many psych uh, professionals are there to speak to those people? And in speaking to them, understand what they go through. If you speak to a patient, for instance, I happen to be involved in some cases, you talk to them, they're willing to do something, but they go back to the society that brought them to you. Mm. And the society is not any better or helping them or family even help. The lack of family support, the lack of societal understanding mm. and approach, mm. th those are the issues that we will have more increase, so yeah, it's not poverty. Th the, way, the way the rates go right now, mm. is it that the, the depression and cases of suicide is increasing or is it the knowledge of it or the publicity around it that is, that is becoming more, uh, uh, more glaring? I think the multi, it, it, it's, it's a, a complete enclosure of everything you've said. Okay. It's not as if it's in any depression, maybe, not that it's increasing per se in terms of, but it's the understanding of it and then the fact that every day we hear about it mm. and the significance is being raised and then people are talking a little bit about it the more. Mm. 
Mm. It's not on you. It's not unlikely that the incidents may be increasing because of societal pressure or all the things we're going through daily. But those things have been sort of silent. Mm. They're not beginning to show up in the circumstances we face today. So I, I think the way to look at it is to look at the totality mm. of what could predispose, what is happening, what had been, and then it can help us to deal with what is to come. Because if we don't understand the present, we can't deal with the future. That's right. And so it's so important that we begin to come to understanding and then get Nigeria. I mean, I was listening to the minister, I read something about the minister of health, who said a few days ago that doctors, we, they cannot take enough drugs, they can go and be farmers, they can go and be tailors. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely unfortunate. Mm -hmm. In this country today, we don't have enough doctors. We don't have the training facilities for mm. doctors. He, he said we're not in short of doctors. Uh, mm. I, I, that, that is strange <laughs> for me. I mean, I really don't want to go that <laughs> route, but I, I feel... Like Earlier, you, know, you know, talked about um, stigmatization, yes. and that is key uh, in the area of depression and mm. mental illness. And it is evidence in the way our society, you know, interacts with people who have mental issues mm. all across our streets, mm. scattered across the country. Mm. You see people who we consider to be mad, and then we just do not want to interact with them. Mm. It's woven into our culture, and we have a reason for it. Mm. Uh, so some will say, oh, perhaps he wanted to you know, do rituals, and then that's why he got mad. Mm. Uh, some will say it's a spiritual attack. Mm. On mm. one hand mm. is the issue of having specialists, psychiatrists, mm. psychologists, and the rest. But how do we help society to be able to show some, you know, some love, some care, mm. understanding that mental illness is the same thing as having malaria or having cancer? Mm. How do we help society to understand that? Which is one of the things you're doing. Mm. You see, the only thing that I regret about the Nigerian media is the fact that we're too tokenist about issues. We bring it up maybe because it's related to a particular thing or maybe because something just happened. And when that goes away, everybody forgets about it. Mm. Until, look, when I was growing up in this country, until a few years ago, there used to be a science desk in every media house. Those are the things that I think people should begin to highlight, not sensationalism. Oh, a man jumped to the lagoon, and so, and so what? But the issue is, a man has jumped to the lagoon not because he chose to jump to the lagoon. Something has happened to him. Mm. Why don't we go back and begin to understand the dynamic behind this thing? And then we put in a scientific feature, not all these uh, taboo juju and all those things and then lend ourselves to spiritualism mm. and say, oh, somebody spoke to me in the night and he went mad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so for me, those are the things that I think the press should be doing. Look at, I mean, let me give you an example of the, the tax something about Trump. A newspaper went and dug up a, and then you could see the right of, mm. it would be difficult for you to fault it. Those are the things we should be doing. There's too much sensationalism about the reporting. I can guarantee you, after talking about this today, we all go back to sleep. In each home, there's someone suffering mm -hmm. from depression that is not showing. It is you and I. We must bring our religion to bear on the way we live our lives. Mm -hmm. We call ourselves Christians to support one another, but when it comes to issues, not God forbid, not my portion. Mm -hmm. And then we begin to stigmatize, even when they come into our society, we begin to put them aside. What is the reason for the case program, for the case, and that one person is better than that? Until we know that we're all human beings, susceptible to the same thing that another person, who says anybody cannot be bad? I mean, I'm involved in a program with rehabilitate drug addicts. I know the struggle, even with families who bring their people to us for rehabilitation, to take them back is a huge struggle. Uh, I'm not sure that he has changed. <laughs> oh, no, he, he, we don't want him to come home. So mm. why do you want him to come home? If the family, immediate home, cannot support him, how can the society support him? Mm. And then when you lock him up in the room, you don't want other people to know. Look, let me tell you one of the things that changed the face of HIV AIDS in Nigeria mm. was the attitude of Professor Ransom Kuti, That's right. who came out and said, my brother died from the complications of HIV AIDS. Mm. So people began to look at HIV AIDS in a different manner. Mm. I think this is what we, look, why can somebody not say, my brother has this issue, I'm standing with him. When they see prominent people standing with their wards who have issues, the society will change and begin mm. to accept that it's not limited to a certain level of people, but 
it can happen to anyone. But what, what really causes this depression? If we have to go into mm. naming or identifying some of this, mm. these factors, so we can liken it to our everyday living, what, what, what are these causes? You know, it, it's difficult to say this. Uh, I mean, in some cases, yes, there are specific causes. Okay. There are some people, they have the natural genesis to have uh, depression. Okay. Uh, in some people, it's the way they grew up, the mm. circumstances they went through in life, let me give you an example. Let's say, for instance, somebody was sexually abused mm -hmm. or even domestically abused as a kid and then made to feel inferior. In growing up, that because the formative nature of looking at himself, not good as... It can happen even in families. When some parents think one is more brilliant than the other and they begin to speak about that, that one regresses into himself mm -hmm. and then begins to say, I'm not as good. Maybe I'm not as good, and there's nothing that happens around. He begins to compare to himself. And those are some of the basic things. It comes also from the society. So we, we need to understand that, that very, it depends on the individual. It depends on the circumstances we face in life. Mm -hmm. Again, it depends on your makeup. Some people have this. We say, I mean, because maybe we've seen some people that there's a tendency to, when you say a child that's always an introvert, mm -hmm. we need to interrogate it. Did you suddenly become an introvert? Or what had happened that suddenly converted them to be an introvert? We don't watch our children enough. We don't look at ourselves within the family enough. We're too much in a hurry for economic That's dimensions, right. and then we run around there. Look, something happened. <coughs> My daughter and I and wife were to go out. We were to go to a quick club. My daughter said, well, Daddy, let me read to you a poem. Mm. I said, oh. Then I said, well, why don't we listen? When she read it, I said to myself, are you sure you, you wrote this? She said she did. Oh, that they have many more. Mm -hmm. And we sat down and began to listen. Mm -hmm. It changed my password that, look, this is something that I'd never noticed. So mm -hmm. I called her teacher. The teacher said, oh, she writes fantastically well. So I said to her, you bring all this. I will publish them the way they are. Mm -hmm. So she was encouraged. We would have missed it if we were rushing. That is what we do. How many times do we listen to our children? When they say to us, you label the child, is stubborn, don't mind it. Stubbornness is not a disease. It could be a sign that, would you like to listen to me? Would you like to do something? Exactly I'm what I wanted to something. ask you. Because mm. earlier you made mention mm. of a friend of yours who mm. was a victim. And mm. you, even you could not pick I it. I missed it. How do we identify people who are depressed? Uh, how do we know the thin line between or oh, someone who's an introvert who loves to keep to him or herself? Mm. There are people who lock themselves in their rooms. You don't know whether they're praying. Mm. You're, you're out of courtesy. You mm. do not want to interrupt their privacy. Mm. How do we identify you, you this see, challenge? You can't, it can't be written on one side mm -hmm. that somebody is depressed mm -hmm. or not. Mm. The thing is, look, what I'm saying is, can we try and understand the next person? Hmm. Can we try and situate ourselves in the complexity, complexion of another person? Can we try to even be more humane to understand one another? It's not as if you can totally know. Even doctors may miss it. I missed it. But the thing is, too many times we are carried away with the superficialities of life. Oh, he's smiling, he's rich, he has, he's just bought two cars. This, that could just be a sign of depressing the way he feels. Mm -hmm. So that people think it's okay, but he's acting now a script. And then he's, uh, last night we spoke. Look at Anthony Baudouin. He was sent to go and work in France. Mm -hmm. He got his hotel room and committed suicide. That's right. Cathy Slade just sold a business for $2.6 billion. Mm -hmm. So she wasn't poor. The thing is, I, I can't, look, the important thing is know the people you relate with. Don't take any sign for granted. When you say a child is introverted, you need to know where you're coming from. Why would somebody lock himself in the room and begin to pray all day? Is there no other activity apart from praying? <laughs> so that could also be a sign? It could, absolutely. <laughs> you see, because when people hold on to religion like that, it could be just like a straw, mm. something they see that keeps them afloat. Mm. And then you need to interrogate it. What am I saying is, let us be more observant of one another. Let us be more caring. Of one I'm, another. I'm sure that you must have heard the fact that some are calling for prosecute, legislating prosecution of suicidal attempts. Um, uh, people who want to jump to Lagoon, you need to take them to court. Uh, how relevant is this? Anybody who, anybody who says that it should be taken to hospital for a psychological review <laughs> because it shows a poor understanding of Operation. human nature. Mm. 
I mean, it's the same somebody said, if somebody takes codeine, if you catch anybody, you send them to two years. Mm. Do we as a people ever sit down to understand the dynamics of society we live in, to understand the complexity of the human nature? If we don't, look, those are the things that push people away. The man who went to job, you think he just because I want to commit suicide, you think anybody wants to kill himself mm. if he's not, as if he's taking drugs and something is happening, nobody wants to. But there are certain things that lead, it's a sign of hopelessness. Mm. It's a sign of frustration. What they need is understanding. Where is this person coming from? Mm. What could have happened? Not legislation. I, mm. Honestly. All sometimes. right. If we, it's a topic that we have to keep looking at. And the, the, the we know that originally Africans are communal in mm. nature, That's where absolutely. the family the family comes to the solidarity, the togetherness. Mm -hmm. And these days that the, the economy, like you, you, you put it, is taking over. It's a new trend. Now. It's a new trend. People are becoming more individualistic. That's people right. are becoming more... Uh, more selfish. More, more self-centered, one yeah. way or the other. And I guess it's, it's even complicating the matters. But we hope that uh, there'll be a solution in sight, one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Dr. Dokuma DG, thank you so much for coming. On the the pleasure is always mine. Thank you. It's good to have you. Right.